Hey everybody, welcome back to COVID Connect and to our last video on Ignatian Discernment. I want to wrap up this series by returning to the topic of desolation, which as you might remember, is the feeling of being cut off from God, or anxious or despairing about spiritual things. Even though, as we talked about, desolation can sometimes be a sign of a bad decision, St. Ignatius also recognized that everybody, even the holiest of saints, will experience periods of desolation in their lives. There's nothing wrong or unusual about that, and St. Ignatius has given us some advice and perspective for how we can proceed when we are feeling desolate. The first thing to remember is that the feelings of desolation do not give you a full picture of reality. Even if we feel distant from God, God is never distant from us. Even if we feel anxious, God will always provide for us. Even if we feel hopeless, God is always a source of hope. God never directly gives us desolation. Desolation does not come from God. But there are times when God might allow somebody to experience desolation for a little bit, only if God knows that it'll strengthen them and benefit them in the long run. For example, for some people, a period of desolation can be humbling because it helps remind them that all consolation is a gift from God, not the result of working really hard or a prize for their perfection. The most important thing to do in desolation is never to make a major decision while feeling desolate. When we're in desolation, we are probably acting out of worry or fear, and these aren't the bases that God wants us to use for our decisions. God doesn't want us to act out of fear. As St. Paul says in his letter to the Romans, you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. God wants us to act from confidence and hope and love. In particular, we should never abandon plans or resolutions that we made before we fell into desolation. For example, say you made a resolution to spend an extra 15 minutes every day in prayer. If you then fall into a state of desolation, it might be tempting to give up on that prayer because you, you might feel like it's not doing any good. This is especially true because desolation will often be accompanied by discouraging thoughts like, oh, I'll never be good in prayer, or God will never listen to me. But these feelings, these thoughts are lies. They're tricks that the devil is trying to play on us. We know that any such discouraging thoughts can't come from God because God loves us, and he would never discourage us from getting close to him. He would never make us feel anxious or sad about our relationship with him. So the best way to face desolation is to strengthen yourself and face it head on. Don't give up on prayer, don't give up on good works, especially resolutions that you made. Show the devil that we aren't Christians because we get good feelings from it. We're Christians because we love Christ and we will serve him no matter what. The more we cling to Christ, the more he will cling to us and very soon you will feel his peace and his consolation again. 